Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dress Productions video. Now I said I wasn't going to do any um, gameplay videos, right? Uh, in my first ever video, so hello there, right? But now that I've basically switched from Twitch over to here, just to kind of make workflow just a little bit easier, I decided why not. Um, so also during COVID, or I'm sorry, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, as the Game Grumps ever so eloquently put it. I'm sorry, I just I get distracted by this awesome guitar solo. Possibly the best version of the Terminator theme I've ever heard. But basically, uh, what's going on here is that I'm going to be starting a new playthrough with a game called Terminator Resistance. Um, it is made by Reef Entertainment, Taeon, um, uh, Taeon especially was a studio that didn't exactly have a good reputation. They first made Rambo the video game on the Xbox 360. It was an on-rail shooter. It was horrible. Uh, some dude named Angry Joe made a couple memes about it and the whole studio became kind of a meme because of that. But in 2019 they released this game and uh, they basically had themselves a little bit of a redemption arc if you know what I mean. Uh, this game is actually like really good uh i played it several times i've even tried recording it a couple days ago but unfortunately the audio just didn't really cut it so we're starting over again again i'm going to be playing this on hard difficulty because i think one of the only things about this game is that easy mode is an absolute joke but if you are a fan of the terminator series especially like the future war or like the first two films on I'd August say this 29, is 1997. Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. There we go, just turn down the volume just a little bit so that way there isn't as much echo on there. But yeah, if you are a Terminator fan, especially the first two films, and love the future war on, setting, this is a definite must Where buy. Are the Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Dude, you might want to watch out. Oh, oh. See? No. That's what happens. That's no, what happens. No. Oh, and you're dead. And you're. See, that's what happens when you don't look behind you. Hey, buddy. Ooh. You want to talk about your Lord and Savior, Mark Zuckerberg? Ooh. Yeah, the classic move by the Terminators. Throw people, not shoot them. Yeah, get under the bus. Get low. I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know who you are. Dude, it's rude to interrupt. Don't you know that? There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. All right, so now our objective is to leave Pasadena, and like I said, the atmosphere in this game alone is absolutely amazing, even if it is made by like a small company and was made with such a small budget. These are people who, ooh, ooh, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. There's people around me getting murked. Explosions? Sorry, Karen. Sorry, John. Ooh. Are you okay? Talk to me. I am. Who are you? It doesn't matter. Right now, you need to find a way to get out of there. Use Y to use your melee weapon. Now, let me see. Can I? Change the sensitivity. Also, by the way, for an Xbox One game, it actually runs at 60 frames per second, which I'm actually friggin' impressed by. Let's see. Controls. Let me just turn them up just a little bit. No vibrations either, because the vibrations in this game are absolutely, like, uh, too much. HK Aerial 
flying by. Don't let it see you. Yeah, see, these were also in the films as well. Like, they'd be flying over, uh, killing everybody as well. Like I said, the just the atmosphere alone in this game, uh, you'll definitely get a sense of it in later levels as well. All right, I left something ahead for you, so keep moving. It better be a friggin' weapon, because apparently I don't have any. Do I have any? No, I just have a med kit. Ultravision goggles. Ultravision goggles enable you to see enemies through walls and other solid objects within a limited radius. When in use, you cannot use weapons and your movement becomes slower. <sighs> I wish your movement wouldn't be slower, though. Stop. There are T-800s patrolling in front of the building. Make sure they don't see you. So these are basically the Arnie bots. But without, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Fortnite skin added. Yeah, that's for a different uh, DLC, if you know what I mean, boys and girls. It's clear. There should be a gun in there. Pick it up. Oh boy, you got me the yes, worst weapon in the entire game. Thanks, out. stranger. <sighs> Couldn't have at least given me like a friggin' Uzi 9mm or something. Flashlight. Oh hey, for you Batman fans, this is almost kind of like all the Arkham games where you're stuck in all the vents like 90%. Detection indicator. The detection indicator displays Skynet's, Skynet unit's real-time visual and auditory detection levels. When the indicator turns red, the nearby enemies are aware of your presence. Spider scouts ahead. Yeah, you know what, because I'm on hard difficulty, and even though i played this game several times, whenever I've played it a couple times, my aim is like hit and miss, so I'm just gonna sneak past these fellas. I'm not really up for, I'm not really up for fighting them. Ooh. How? How? Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Running, running, running. I am not risking it. What's there? Hello? What's this? Chemical compounds? Yeah. And closing those doors. Are they coming after me still? Nope. Perfect. Also, that is apparently the AI that wiped out all of humanity, by the way. God bless. Let's do this door. Yay! Our love interest for the game. You don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Uh, hi. What's going on, y'all? Thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Leave me alone. You know, a kid, uh... You know what happened on Judgment Day? Uh, the nukes, did, the nuke. All right. When the Russians, when the boys, when they dropped, uh, when they dropped on us boys, um, they didn't leave leave us alone. Uh, honestly, I want to pick the a hole answer, but uh, I guess I gotta be nice. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, so let me uh, go ahead and turn on subs real quick, subtitles real quick, because apparently I did not do that before starting recording. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. Nice to meet you. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go then. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So it's just you then? Yeah, pretty much. I guess, do I not have this any. Way. Do, I, Pasadena was safe. do I not have any other, like, the friends walls. or whatever? Until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Or, I'm trying to remember, was his entire. Was this. Through was here. our player character's entire unit wiped out? I'm trying to remember. Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Hey, you better shut up, kid. You're lucky these robots apparently apparently they do have ears, but you better be quiet. You better be quiet or you're not getting your oatmeal today.
I love the music too. That's probably my favorite part, honestly, besides just the atmosphere of the future war, is the fact that they actually brought back the uh, music for like the original film. So I don't know if this is all taken from the film, because I know, ooh, a little bit of a uh, bit rate problems there. I think we're good though. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and I said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. Miss Aaron, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn it. We're here. Dude, finish your finish your story. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave now. Thing. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Hmm? Colin? That's your name. What are you like, the Merle Dixon of the Terminator universe? You kind of give me a. Uh, you kind of give me that kind of vibe. He doesn't give off good vibes. Ryan, how's it going, oh, my guy? You're from the resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. It's my job. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll go and search for other survivors. It is the right thing to do. You know, there's already been like 4 billion lives lost in this friggin' nuclear holocaust made by the Russians and our own computer boy. Uh, so, I'll might as well try to survivors. save everyone I can. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Really now? Oh, there you go. When apparently uh, a stranger couldn't even give me a friggin' uh, better gun than this. Aaron, how's it going, love? What's going on? Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? Well, on the one hand, Robots shooting lasers at me, but on the other hand, I'm also on hard difficulty. I'm not on extreme, but I'm on hard difficulty. No, I don't need it. I'll manage without it. I'm glad you're more brave than Ryan. Dang, Ryan, she just called you out, buddy. All right, so I guess we got to go over there and take a look. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero. You do not give me good vibes at all, good sir. You do not give me good vibes at all. He's gonna die soon, ain't he? Oh, there's a little boy. There's a little boy right over here. There we go. Got some parts out of you. Ooh. What happened to you? Yeah, you did. Oh, you got some ammo though. Ammo though. That is a big boy. That is big boy. You ain't coming to investigate me, are you? Big boy? No? Okay, good. Uh, let's see what I can go inside. Oh, hi there. That was awkward. So that is the AI that wiped out humanity, huh? I am there. I am not impressed. Is there anything in here as well? 
I'm also not really sure if I'm going to be doing all the side missions or whatever. Uh, I'll probably do at least some that are actually uh, important. Like, uh, I don't know, I may try to do actually all the side missions, but I may just cut them out whenever I edit them uh, after. Got in here. Ammo. Probably going to need that. Uh, anything in here? Oh, hello, big boy. Good to see you. Ooh, there's some fabric in here. I did not see that. It's gonna... Peek-a-boo! Uh, oh, you wanna play? You wanna play? You wanna play with with the Caucasian Muhammad Ali? Do you want to play? Uh, I think one last burst should do it, maybe. Oh, got me once. But I got you a whole lot more times. That's just how things work. Do a good old fashioned Call of Duty Xbox 360 Black Ops 2 style teabag for extra good measure. We got another Spider Scout in here. What's up, buddy boy? Just gonna murk you for a second. Sorry that you never had a chance. Alright, anything of worth in here? There's some pills here. Pills here! Is anyone here? See anything in here? And I'm basically looting because you actually do get um, awarded for actually like taking the time to actually look around. Got some canned food. Anything out here? No? Oh, I didn't even notice. Good thing I did. Any bit of trade resources is absolutely worth it. Hey, this is the last place, right? Yeah. And there's supposed to be someone in here. Well, Lauren, I believe her name is. Anything in here? Yeah. what's in this lock box we got a med kit so we didn't even need uh Aaron's med kit anyway any dang way anyone in here who's there oh hey there oh hello there I've come to get you there's an evacuation point not far from here you need to get there fast no I'm not leaving have you seen what's out there yeah that, that giant spider is going to get us you have to destroy it. I'm already taking care of it, bro. Care of it. It's safe now. See? Oh, thank God. Thank you. And besides, even if the big giant robot was even able to come in else. here. I'm heading your way. Is there anything here that's worth? Ooh, another med kit. I actually did not. Yo, I actually did not know that there was a med kit in here. I've never been in uh, Laura's little room here. More ammo. Ooh. And there's some more ammo. All right, I think we just about looted this, looted this place clean. Uh, people on Twitter do not take that wrongly. Anything in the back of this car? No. Let's continue moving on. So we at least saved one person, which you know, a one is better than zero. Hopefully, Colin eats whatever he's eats what it you know I'm not even gonna say anything oh we got drones I didn't ask for Amazon Prime come on let's clear the path coming Wait a second. Amazon, no! Amazon! Wait a second! 
I need to collect my parts to get my Fortnite skins. I need to get the V-Bucks. This one's for you, Pop. There we go. Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin cans coming! Jennifer! Get in! Go, go, go! Seat belts, everyone! Please don't let this be a Hold normal filter. Honestly, though, thank you, Miss Frizzle. You got us out of possible pain and death. Oh. By the way, this is the type of humor that you are going to have to uh stand throughout this entire walkthrough either that or just no commentary of me just looting around uh the city so uh take that for what you will so the annihilation time the annihilation line apparently i can't english is the line that separates the living from the dead composed of an army of terminators the ultimate killing machines it keeps advancing its purpose the total extinction of mankind so it was actually cool to actually hear some more lore about the future war, like this Annihilation line. That was never mentioned in any of the movies, Mark's if I'm not mistaken. Concept. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin... Well, you can wow. ask him okay, what dude. he thinks he does. You're just going to you're just going to give me the middle finger like that after I helped Pacific. you out? Pacific. It's kind of rude, long don't you away think? From home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get Oh, so the entire division, division was wiped out, not even the unit. Barrett. So it's true? The annihilation line's coming? It wasn't the annihilation line. It was something else. And sometimes I'll forget plot points, so even though I played the game honest, like a couple days ago, I'll sure actually forget so. stuff like that, so God forgive me it. if I sound kind of dumb or out of touch. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. Alright, so this is our new hideout, I guess. Kind of reminds me a lot of The Walking Dead, on, actually, so but maybe it's just a post-apocalyptic vibe, I guess. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. No problem. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. Okay, so I am actually going to take a few minutes because this is usually what I do every time I start the campaign is that there's usually stuff around here uh, to kind of get just in case. So I will be back in a few minutes. Uh, future me, uh, remember this cut and go. I've been patient with you for the sake of this group, but you had no uh, job. Am I hearing some tea outside? I don't have to listen to this shit. Sure, walk away, asshole. Yes, we found some, uh... Because I'd be hearing some tea right now. Okay. Alright, guys, and we're back. Uh, including from that little interjection from the tea between uh, Colin and Aaron. Uh, I pretty much looted the entire place. Uh, I got myself a lockpick. And I also used the skill point to upgrade the lockpicking... Because you already know there's probably going to be some crates that will be very useful to us uh, later on. Uh, and there is a place right here. Yeah, lock picking. This is also uh, pretty similar to the Fallout games, I presume. To uh, pick a lock, you have to rotate the pin and at the same time try to turn the lock. Okay, so move the pin here. That doesn't work. Move it over here, maybe. There we go. Got a whole bunch of surprise, surprise and supplies. Oh my! Ooh wee! All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? Oh, I, this guy. You know what? This is possibly the only time I'm gonna pick the mean ans the mean answers. Are you always such an asshole? You know what? Now that I think about it, I guess I am. 
At least he knows. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? This guy, the guy just gives me bad vibes. I don't know about you. This might come in handy. Yeah, possibly the best friggin' um, weapon in the game, like ballistics wise, and not just plasma. Because we we ain't gonna get plasma weapons for uh, like a pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Oh yeah, definitely. Anything else? I think we're good. All right, so let's talk to Ryan. Oh. Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Yeah, that's just the way it goes, though. been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to mm. say. You know what that reminds me of? Because, again, side missions, you can actually do and I'm probably going to do one throughout this walkthrough, or Let's Play, or whatever. But only just because that way I can, you know, work towards making sure that I can actually gain the trust of these characters. Because even though this is an FPS, it does have um, sort of like the same qualities of an RPG, where you can actually develop relationships with these characters, especially Jennifer, especially. So, you know, I'm still going to do the side missions, but I probably won't show much of them throughout the let's play but apparently we can talk to her so let's uh let's ask her some things were there any resistance in pasadena they were stationed just outside of town since i can remember but they moved not that long ago we tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore but apparently we were wrong uh what about, what about the dad mom? what happened to him he protected us from a tin can we were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. It's okay, Jennifer. But, uh, yeah, you know what the uh, sci getting the side quest like that kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, maybe a moment when your girlfriend or, like, significant other is saying, uh... Well, I don't know. I wish he would do uh, this or this or this or man, you know, just saying something. But it's really just trying to uh, trying to ask you to do something for him. You know what I mean? Like, man, I wish uh, blank and blank would happen. That's kind of what, what uh, that reminds me of. I don't know why, but it kind of makes me laugh. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. And you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the crappy pistol, the, the Uzi, and get rid of all my small arm ammo. I may... I'll probably get more... How much is this? Ah, screw it. I'll get that. Two pipe bombs, and I'll probably leave the med kits uh, for now. Accept the transaction. Uh, two pipe grenades and some M. What's going on with you? Uh, what's going on with you, Aaron? Can I help you? Uh, let's see. Do you need help you with need anything? Help with no, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? Well, let's talk about the Annihilation Line, because apparently she's actually the one who's actually been behind it, so... How did you know about the Annihilation Line? We heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended well, up Well, I mean, she's camp. a doctor, though, because... They thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. 
There you go. Even though they're machines, of course, having a human doctor around would actually be worth. And e they even did have um, camps. Even in the original films, they even mentioned even Kyle Reese was in a camp at one point or another. I think they even showed like the actual camps themselves in Terminator Salvation. And I believe Genesis as well. It's been a while since I last saw that one. That's probably the worst Terminator film by far. Dark Fate is also kind of average, but, you know, we don't talk about that one either. Uh, what happened? What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You're actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... Like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? That's just human nature. Uh... You know what, I'm just gonna leave her be. Because this this poor person, Mark, he... Mark's his name, I guess. He does not look good at all. Uh, Laura, you okay? Okay, she's alright. Oh, uh, what you want, Ryan? Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. You better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Oh, I already Listen, got everything I need. I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority. But if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. Yeah, no problem. Uh, is there any other people I need to talk to? Uh, I've talked to Aaron. You know what? Let's go ahead and meet Colin at the warehouse district. With Pacific Division destroyed, nothing stands in the way of the Annihilation Line. It caught up with me in Pasadena, but I managed to escape with only a handful of survivors. According to Colin, Baron's division used to have their outpost near the warehouse district. If I want to find the resistance, that's where I should head next. Got a point. Got a point. This is Rivers, over. Yeah, Ooh. I see them. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin cans so far. A couple of crawlers, but nothing you can't handle. Yeah, sure. Uh, first off, uh, let's check in here. Basically, what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to loot around and see if I can't pick up anything, like, really useful, like that right there. Uh, can I craft anything useful as well? Besides ammo, I can't really do that, uh, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. And I will be back in a little bit. One, two, three, go. Ooh, I hear a doggo in need of some help. Okay, where, where is Let's see, door number one. Hey, puppy. Oh, look at that cutie. Come on. I'm gonna take you with him. It's gonna be just like Fallout. Hey, fuckhead. Your radio's on. Or was I supposed to hear that? Fucking creep. Sheesh. Colin, I'm literally getting a dog for like a child, okay? I can't be nice, according to you. Oh, and I know oh, you're heading this way. I know you're heading this way. There we go. Get you right where I want. Yeah, look at that. 
Didn't expect that now, did ya? Oh, and this is also a uh, fun fact. This is also the restaurant where uh, Sarah Connor actually worked at in the first uh, in the first Terminator, uh, the diner at least. Got some cigarettes. We got some uh, beer bottles. Always fun, ain't that right? Let's see. Who puts plates in the oven? That's what I want to know. Who puts plates in the dang oven? If my kids did that, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know whether to smack them with a belt or for being kind of that dumb or you know what I'm just I'm just gonna stop saying that someone from CPS says something eh. but in all actuality in all actuality kids on behalf of Jurassic Productions we do not condone child abuse only uh, only spanking whenever they do something um, just don't hit your kids. <laughs> Shame you're not staying with us much longer. We'd be great friends. You bring out the best insults in me. Aw, is that true, Colin? I'll be sure to try to stay uh, with you guys as much as possible. Asthma storage ain't a promising sign. Don't you guys usually destroy all the time? Yeah, I do. But you know what? Screw it. Let's go cause some mayhem. Take so many bullets to destroy these things. There we go. I'm sure that won't draw any attention. You know what? Maybe it will. But I don't really care too much now, do I? There we go. Do I have anything? Ooh, that is. Is that a turret? No, that that's a destroyed turret. Okay. It's got some medium caliber ammo. This bot has some stuff for me as well. Alright, now that that's taken care of and all the explosions are done and over with, uh, let's move on to finding some tools for Ryan, shall we? Uh, I just destroyed my last lockpick. Time to go make another one. Just gonna slide into them DMs like a boss. Because apparently I'm Mr. Jack Sept guy. Controls are being a little bit slippery because I'm actually using the um, Xbox Companion app to uh, stream this to my PC in order for stream lives to record it. I know I'm I know I'm very no I'm very cheap, but you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and that trunk was actually worth exploring. There's some good amount of stuff in here. The ambulances are actually really good for um, stuff too. You're going exactly the opposite of where you're supposed to be. Ryan asked me to look for something. Oh, did someone... Did someone sting me? Oh. Sorry, I, did, I didn't realize you actually existed. If I did, I would have hurt you. Sooner. More fabrics. See, this is where. Right? Yeah. Ooh, we got another lock pick. Great. What the? Hello? Okay. Like I said, the companion app, it kind of makes things a little bit more slippery some every once in a while. Uh, that's just something I'll probably have to deal with. Going into the vents again like I'm Batman. Nah, 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 nah. Oh! I'd... Usually you have to destroy this wall right here, but uh, 
Apparently I didn't have to. Apparently going through that different door was kind of a lifesaver. Okay. And here's the set of tools for Ryan. Do it. Alright, is there anything else I'm missing? No, I don't think so. I think we got, about got everything. So there's the two bases that we have to go explore. Stuff right. Let's just go in the vents again. Batman. No, I'm sorry. I'll be back. Okay. S stupid joke. Alright, so let's go to this base kind of like through all you of this garbage. Yes, I did, Colin. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day. How about you shut your face before I shove this Remington down your throat? How does that sound? I wish there were some shotgun shells, dude. I really do, because I actually like this thing. Surprising enough. Wait, this is the place I believe, ain't it? That is a dead. There's over there. Just gonna ignore him for the time being. Now, uh, again... Crack in that warehouse wall from here. Use explosives to get yourself inside. Or find. Yeah, shut up for a second. Some other way, I don't care. Yeah, no, thank you. Is there anything in the back of this van here? No. Uh, what you could do instead of wasting your pipe grenades is go up here on this truck. And there you go. Another lockpick thing. I'm basically. Uh, just gonna continue doing what I'm doing here. Hello? All through here. Hopefully there's some friggin' shotgun shell. And hopefully I don't do anything stupid, because the last time I actually recorded, I actually almost blew myself up a couple times. By habit, whenever I'm holding the one controller, I actually have my finger like really close to the top and the throwing explosive button is the uh, right bumper especially on the Xbox one um, so like every once in a while I'll actually accidentally throw an explosive but who knows maybe I'll do that as like a running joke or whatever just to keep just to keep things on the more funny scale or whatever who knows Let's see uh, aim for the weak spot the red eye uh, there's also a thing on the back. I don't know if you guys ever saw that, but there's also a, this giant red spot the, on the back, kind of like on the uh, HK tank uh, boss fight that we'll see much later in the game. 18 shells. Hallelujah. We got more shells. I was worried for a second. Ooh. Just gonna, let's see, inventory. Throw that out. Just so I can keep the ammo for it. Ooh, we got uh, two gas cans. Anything in here? Med kit, ammo, and some pipe grenades. There we go. So far, I don't think we're having that bad of a haul. Explosive materials, that's definitely going to be uh, useful later down the road. Chemical compounds. More ammo. I wish there were more friggin' shotgun shells. I keep on saying it like a friggin' broken record, but I do. Creepy little dolls. Okay, let me actually read this one because this one's one of my more favorites. Some D-bag came up with a bright idea to use mannequins for target practice. It's effed up if you ask me. I just don't like the idea of shooting something with a face, plus they creep me the F out. Well, let me tell you something, alright? Alright, buddy boy, if you're gonna be living in the war with the machines that have faces, you're probably gonna have to learn. Me and Joker, I'm guessing this was written by Harley Quinn, were keeping watch yesterday. It was so dark, we couldn't even tell the difference between one of the mannequins or a Terminator. They look too much like humans. I'm always on guard around these effers. Joker said, Now you know how me and the guys feel. You gingers are blurring the line between man and machine. You have no soul and you're rusty all over. What an effing comedian. 
Ooh, that's a little that's a little spicy. Uh, gingers have no souls joke. Ooh, that's a little spicy even for me. <laughs> and that's coming from someone who's just a dirty blonde. Let's see, check the table. An attack order signed by Commander Baron, and it's only from a couple of days ago. All right. Are you there? Yeah. Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever. Just going to destroy your friend over there. Come on, buddy. Don't you want a piece of this? Ooh, we getting some good... Ooh. Oh. That was kind of bad. Companion app is not exactly doing the best right now. And that actually took down a good amount of my health. Dang. Alright, uh, we're just going to move on. I'm tempted to use the, um, the med kits right now, but I'm not going to do that until I'm like really, really low on health. Because, you know, just so I don't risk anything. So we're just going to go out back the way we came, and next time I snap my fingers, we will be right back at the second base. One, two, three. Alright, so we are at the second base. Let's continue. Could be some stuff. Got 600 ammo. I could probably spare to kick some butt. And I missed everything. See, there's the red spot I was talking about. Go ahead, bud. Anything else? Y'all want to go? That took a lot of my health too. Are you stuck behind the door? Little buddy. Aw. You're so cute when you're pathetic. Alright, so no shotgun shells, which is kind of a shame, but alright. Let's go back to the second base. It was kind of a, not exactly a waste of time, but you know, I wish it would have been worth it more. Spider right there. How's it going, fella? My name is Beautify. Would you like to talk about your lord and savior, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg? No guards. Not a good sign. Map. Let's see. Map. Just wait a second, Jacob. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else of worthy in here? Something lock picking that needs lock picking? Probably worth. It. I need shotgun shells, man. I keep on saying it, but I need them bad. That's not shotgun shells. Metal scraps. I could probably crap them, but like. Probably make pipe grenades or whatever, you know, stuff that's actually useful though. That's the problem. Thing in here of worth. Couple trade resources and some fabrics. Let's see. How much do friggin' shotgun shells take to make it? I can make a 
Dread Shotgun. Sheesh. Um, maybe I'll make 40. That seems like a good number, I guess. But I make more lockpicks. Should be. Save game. Let's check the map here. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Oh, the hospital, yes. Uh, the hospital, that is actually my favorite part. Just moved on to that game. hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? <sighs> Colin. Colin, Colin, Shit. Colin. Colin. Not answering calls, dude. He's like he's like the ex-girlfriend that just won't come back. You know what I mean? He won't answer your calls even if you ask him uh, questions that actually mean something. Alright, let's see what's going on here. New quest, where is Colin? Uh, even though I played this game many a times before more than is probably healthy uh i don't know i'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys though although uh, to be honest even even if i did play it before i'm just gonna say it right now colin just did not have good enough of vibes for me to actually want him to live i'm just gonna point that out right now so if he ends up dead, you better not be surprised. Alright, buddy. I'm coming after you.